Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this blue monochromatic zombie look. So starting off, I'm just going to go in with a regular eye pencil and sketch out the areas around my eyes, my nose, the part of my mouth that's going to be exposed, and my temples. And then once I have all of that done, I'm going in with a clean brush and I'm just smudging out those edges. For the areas like my nose and my mouth, I'm smudging that downward so that the shadow is casted underneath the flap of skin that I'm going to have kind of exposed. And I'm, I am getting over a cold, so if I sound funny, that's why. And then when that's all smudged out, I'm just going in with a damp beauty blender and some light blue Mehron body paint, and I'm just tapping that all over my face, also bringing that down my neck and onto one side of my chest. And then to make this look a little bit more like skin, I'm just going in with some teal and some blues in with that light blue shade. And I'm just kind of mixing those colors together just so it looks textured like skin. And then going in with a brush, I'm just going to take those teals and blues into my face area and kind of make it look a little bit more textured because I am a zombie and I'm supposed to look... Like I have old skin, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm blending all of those colors together. And I'm not being neat about this. I'm just kind of like smacking it on wherever it, wherever it wants to go, basically. And then once I have all that done, I'm going in with a black eyeshadow and just deepening up under my eyes. And then going in with the Take Me Back to Brazil palette uh, by BH Cosmetics, I'm taking the darkest blue shadow in the palette and I'm just going to use that as my shading shadow, I guess. So I'm just bringing that underneath where I made my original lines on my face. I'm just kind of dragging it down. And continuing with that same blue eyeshadow, I'm just going to use that to kind of map out where I want my rib cage to be and all of the other like tendons and things that I want on my chest. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's a zombie. Then I got a little shading happy and on this collarbone. I just shaded too much so I decided I wanted to make a crack in my bone. And 
And then using a beauty blender, I'm just going to go in with the darkest blue body paint in the Mayran palette. And I'm just kind of darkening up all of those areas between the bones. And I'm just kind of smudging it out. And then going in with a dark blue body paint from Global Colors, I'm just taking that onto a brush and I'm deepening up the very center edges of those shadows and just using my finger to smudge it out. Some of those lines weren't quite dark enough, so I went in with a little bit of black body paint and I'm just darkening up some of those cracks and crevices and areas where the skin would be lifted. And to create the shirt, I'm just going to use the teal shade in the Mayron palette and I'm just basically squiggling that on. And then I'm going to use a beauty blender to just kind of... Um, smear it all out. I'm going over all of this afterwards with eyeshadows, just deepen it up. I just basically want to get the paint on there. And then going back to that BH Cosmetics palette, I'm just going to be taking the black shade and I'm just going to deepen up the very edges of that shirt. And then because the blue I was using wasn't quite blue enough, I'm going in with this very large brush and um, Mater Makeup Labs eyeshadow in code blue. And I'm just kind of putting that wherever, basically using that as shading on the shirt. And then going back into that Global Colors dark blue body paint and outlining all of the shirt and kind of like the rips that I'm making in it. And then to create the teeth, I'm going in with the light blue body paint in the Mayron palette, and I'm just creating little chiclet. They kind of look like kisses, actually, like Hershey, Hershey, Hershey kisses. And I'm just making those all along the top and the bottom of my lips.
And using that same light blue body paint, I'm just going to fill in the area that I left out for my eyes. And then I'm going to be tapping on um, this cool toned white shade in the BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm just tapping that on top of the paint just so it kind of stays in place. And then going in with XNO Sunset Sky palette, there's this really, really pretty bright blue shade. And I'm just type, tapping that around the outside of that light blue and then patting some white into the very center and darkening up underneath. And then in that same Sunset Sky palette by XNO Cosmetics, I'm just going in with the black shades, super pigmented, and I'm just going in between all of my teeth. And then I'm darkening up my nose as well. And then once I have all that done, I'm going back in with that same black sh shadow, and I'm just going to shade in some of the spots on my shirt. And then I'm just taking my finger with the Mater Makeup Labs in Chill Pill eyeshadow and just kind of smearing that on and using that same color to deepen up some of the shading around my chest area. And then finally, I'm just going in with some black body paint and just kind of defining some of those lines around my face and my chest. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye.